Hey guys, uh, back again with another spreadsheet for a event calculator. And this time it is for the Red Guardian Winter Event, which runs for 12 days. It just started uh, Thursday night uh, during the Blitz for Yelena. So it will run through almost two weeks. Uh, it's a little bit longer than other events that have been like this that were only 10 days. So it gives us a little bit longer to meet all the milestone objectives. Uh, but things have changed a bit, and I'm going to go over that. Uh, it's very simple. There's three different types of uh, the milestones. One is daily, which is your uh, blitzing and arenas and all that, which I'm sure most people will hit just by doing normal rotations, and we'll talk about those targets. There's another one that is the orb opening event for what's called deep freeze orbs. I'm not sure why they're called that. Um, I would have thought that I, when I saw that offer, I thought it was Iceman had come out. <laughs> but okay. Um, and then uh, the last one is the alliance wide raiding uh, targets, which is pretty long. Uh, it, it runs throughout the entire event, though, so you got a long time to meet this last goal of 93,000 points. And I'll talk through that once we get to the spreadsheet. So let's switch over there and let's focus on what we need to do to actually make these goals. So the first thing we need to do is figure out what the targets are and what we need to do to meet them. So in the past, we've had two events that are very similar to this one. One was the Anti-Venom event and the other was the Unity event. And both of them uh, featured good characters, Anti-Venom and uh, I believe it was Negasonic was the other one. Um, they had the same sort of structure to their milestones. Uh, there's just slight differences in some of the payouts, and now with the addition of Gear 15 and Mini Uniques, uh, those have been added to the bottom of the orb opening event. Uh, it's not a whole lot, it's some. Uh, they've also reduced some of the SBC payouts along the way, or move them around um, but for the most part they've largely main, uh, maintained the same payouts so uh, you can see here we have the orb requirements so if you want to max your orbs uh, payout then what you need to do is look at the bottom here which is points required is 37,300 that again requires 63 total orb openings and because uh, it's really 62 and change but you can't open a half of an orb so it's 63 orbs that will be required to max these milestones um, as you can see here the numbers go up uh, you get more shards for red guardian as the uh, milestones progress mostly it's two but at the end of this you get 68 shards and then the other loot that you get a lot of uh, catalyst purple and orange catalysts uh, you get a lot of SBCs ABCs and uh, a couple of minis for tier 14 you get you know 2020 20 of various types as well as uh, 32 and 36 at these later milestones and then uh, 20 total tier 15 mini uniques so that's a little bit helpful uh, it's not it's not going to do a ton I think for our dd4 planning but it it's you know everything that you get is you know just going in the pile uh, to, to upgrade guys so you might as well um, this one in the spreadsheet is fairly simple if you scroll down here I have a little calculator here so whatever your current point point total is this should be divisible by 600 because that's how many points you get per deep freeze orb that you open um, if you put it in here let's say you put in 12,000 points let's say you've opened you know that many orbs uh, the cool thing is up here it's, it's formatting so it'll show exactly how far you've gone through the miles stones and how much is left uh, and it'll tell you how many orbs you've opened in this case I've opened 20 because I put in 12,000 points uh, my orbs open per day is 1.71 uh, according to this so I'll have to check the math on that because uh, that's a pretty strong uh, number and um, orbs needed per day is really it's it's six is six dot three right you need it's um, it's actually a little bit more or a little bit less than that because it's 12 days not 10 days uh, so it should be 63 divided by uh, 12 so anyway so it should be 5.25 is what you need per day and as you go through the event uh, this little calculator you just keep updating your to point total uh, it'll update here and it'll tell you how many orbs you have remaining so that helps just to give you an idea of where you are with it and I'll double check this orb opening per day uh, I think that's a little bit off but no worries. So the next one is the Blitz and Arena stuff. Uh, this is fairly simple and straightforward, but this is a daily 
uh, event, you'll get uh, some catalysts and uh, gear credits and all that, uh, as well as um, some event orb fragments. So you'll get 1350 a day in total, and um, that'll give you over uh, the event. Uh, it should be 12. Man. They keep changing it from 10 to 12. They can't change it from 10 to 12, so the uh, the fragment totals are a little bit off here and there. Uh, I need to change these references to be uh, referring to an off the sheet page where it says how many event days there are. Uh, so I'll do that later. But anyway, um, you get four event or you get four shards for Red Guardian throughout this, so that's 40 uh, total over the event if you max these milestones every day. But it does require a bit of work, right? This is blitzing and arena in. Um, for me, my entire arena is Black Order. It's a little bit competitive, so I don't want to lose battle. So for my arena purposes, I'm still going to use Black Order in order to beat Black Order. And there's only two Black Order characters there. So for my calculations, I'm putting two events event tunes plus the win is worth 17 points and I'm going to do that five times a day. I may buy an extra attack here and there but I'm not going to calculate that. So let's say we get 85 there. Uh, another thing that we're going to get is um, you know blitzing right we get uh, blitz battles will be worth you know 12 points per character as well as the eight points for the win or if you're going to sim all your blitzes well then you get eight points per event character in those simmed wins. And then you also get four points per win, whether or not you have seasoned characters involved in it. So for me, this gives me a total of, let's say you got 22 teams that win. Um, you know, you can adjust this if you like, just adjust the formula here from, you know, 22 to 25, if you can do it. Um, but, you know, that's, that's part of it. And then let's say you have, of the 33 characters that have the seasoned tag that qualify i figure i'll win with about 28 of them every rotation this is just an estimate it may be more it may be less but you lose a battle here and there and then i haven't leveled up like she hulk and a couple others that i just don't care about um so i'm just not going to use them right but with 28 i think that's a fairly reasonable amount there's a lot of good characters that have the tag um that gives me 312 points per rotation right because i'm doing this all through sim i'm not doing regular blitzing uh, if you are then you need to adjust these values um, in order to equal you know whatever the value is that that you want um, so if i'm getting about 312 points per blitz rotation then what it's saying is uh you know the if the 1600 points a day I need to meet I can do that with five a little over five rotations right uh, but if I'm also doing my arena then uh, this cuts out a rotation so it's really more like four rotations a day that needs to be done if you're doing your five arena battles and winning all five of them so not so bad um, lately my arena has been a little weird uh, we've had a lot of people hit 80 and uh, G15 on a lot of their Black Order characters, so it's getting a little dicey sometimes for these matchups that are over 110k punch-ups. <laughs> so I can't really bank on exactly five wins a day sometimes. Uh, sometimes I'm trying to punch into a 750k Black Order, and uh, it's not always going to win. So uh, just FYI, you know, don't don't count your chickens before they're hatched, right? Make sure that you know it, you're getting your points from Blitz primarily because that's your 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 uh, most most steady uh, source of those points, and uh, I think that's the best way to go. And then the arena points will just help you get there as you need to. Another quick tip on this, uh, you know, make sure you use all your arena uh, attacks every day, regardless, right? If you're not a big arena guy, well, at least if you can just find somebody you beat, uh, just go ahead and do it, get the points, and just add it to your total. Also, since the reset is at the soft reset for these milestones, they're at 7 p.m. Central Time, the hard reset is when Arena flips over, which is 11 p.m. my time. So if I hit my 1600 points early, I could actually save a couple of my Arena attacks for after that uh, 6 p.m. crossover for the soft reset on these milestones and then use those arena attacks towards the next day's milestones. And that could help me shave off a few points that I need to do on the next day. Um, so just to keep that in mind, uh, once you max out your points for the day, you don't really need to waste any more arena attacks. So if you don't have to use them, you can hang on to them and use them for the next day's uh, milestones. Uh, last part is the raid stuff for the alliance-wide milestones. And uh, this is called the Crimson Affair milestone. Uh, you do get some org orb fragments through this but it is a 12 day milestone so it's only 9500 orb frags at the end of it um not a whole lot but you know it's almost five orbs so you know it helps 
You get 13 shards because they added one shard to the 25th milestone, which I thought was odd. Uh, most everything else stayed the same. There's a couple of adjustments on the catalyst payouts, but for the most part, it stayed the same. Um, pretty negligible, negligible changes. And um, this one's a little bit more tricky. So the reason why is because the you need to win or lose with the raid event character, right? So that would be your seasoned characters. And you, if, if you win or lose a raid battle, you get two points. So the idea is if you were to take, say, five event characters, go into a raid battle, win or lose, um, you still get 37 points, right? But the total points needed per player um, really is 322 a day. So if you're doing your max total, um, points available per attack, which isn't always possible, um, you really only need to do about nine attacks a day like that, right? And between two blitzes, Ultimus and Greek Raids, that's not so bad. That's that's really not so bad. Uh, a lot of these characters are going to be useful, but not necessarily all of them. So if you want to do a full symbiote team, two of them are not going to count towards it. So that means this number goes down by 14, which means you got to do more raiding with them. Um, the other thing you have to think about is if you're doing easier raids and finishing them fairly quickly in one shot every node, um, you know, you may have leftover energy burning. So maybe what you want to do is before you finish off the raid uh, is go in with five of these seasoned characters, use them, get the points, uh, and then fail the node or quit out of it, and then go back in with a, another team or the same team and finish it off to get that double tap and get the bonus points right because then you get two X points because it's win or lose with the raid stuff. You don't have to win. Uh, so if you get down to one character, you can actually quit out and then go right back in and you'll still get the points for both attacks so keep that in mind if you're having trouble meeting this milestone the other thing i wanted to show here and this is something i've done every time we have one of these types of milestones is the target points per day per person i had to expand this a couple of days because the past events have all been 10 days instead of 12 um, but that does reduce the number of points that you need per day right so really, what we're targeting here is about 323 points per day per person. So if you look at your leaderboards, that's the target. Now remember, that's at the soft reset when the milestones reset, uh, not the hard reset. So don't dog people for being behind when you know it's midnight. Uh, let let it go to the next. The next day technically starts at you know 6 p.m. Central Time or uh, 4 p.m. Pacific, right? Uh, it it's just. You know, this is an idea of how to track it a little bit. So it tracks it in game what people currently have as their totals. This is meant to show you, okay, on day four, for instance, everybody should be around 1,292 points by the end of the day. Um, you're going to have people that go way over that. You're going to have people that are under it. Try to figure out what the alliance is on track as well by looking at the total uh, points scored. And that would be like for day four is 31,000. So this is the running total to hit 93,000 exactly. Uh, obviously, you want to be a little bit ahead of that. Uh, hopefully, you're targeting a little bit higher than that to uh, just be comfortable. But for the most part, as long as you have a very active alliance of 24 people that are hitting their raids and uh, really trying, you're eventually going to hit these numbers most likely. The other thing I can do here is put in my current total for my alliance. Let's say I put it up to you know 14,000. Uh, as you fill it in, these these things will become green to show that you've hit those milestones. So let's put it at like 44,000, right? And uh, you can see there, there's a whole bunch of uh, milestones we've already crossed, so they fill in like that. And then once you get to the bottom, let's say we put in 94,000, uh, it'll show them all as green. It also shows it up here in the, uh, the milestone, right? Um, so the milestones up here will show what we've met and uh, what's remaining, and uh, that should help too. All right, so a couple other things uh, from previous spreadsheets, if you've seen this before, the Anti-Venom and Unity events, you know, uh, there's other ways to earn orbs to help you with that first milestone. Uh, you can buy six orbs for $20, which means they're $3.33 a piece, or you can buy one of the smaller offers that gives you one orb for $5 and then some other stuff. Um, if you do that, great. If not, whatever. Uh, event orb points are worth 600 up. Uh, piece now. Uh, the last time it was 666, so that's adjusted the math a little bit around the spreadsheet this time. Um, the event progress, though, let's talk about that. So, if you're doing, you know, 20 wins per per blitz rotation, and doing that five times a day, that's 100 wins, right? So, if you're targeting 125 a day, which is what I generally shoot for, is about six rotations for me, plus blitz charges, right? You're going to use a, 
couple hundred blitz charges a day generally. I should net you around 120, 130 uh, blitz wins, so I just average it at 125. Uh, and then we need to figure out what the orb frag drop rate is for those blitz wins. So uh, you need the blitz wins for the milestones, but you also need the blitz wins to give you more frags to open more orbs. And so I've been trying to track that. I've only done a couple of my rotations where I've been tracking it. And so far, these are my drop rates. Uh, you can see the drop rates, and I'm just pulling this from the previous versions. I don't know if 375, 1000, or 2000 exists. I have not gotten one this event. Uh, so these are big fat zeros. Uh, but so far, it has been very heavy on the 50 drops, 80%, 12% uh, 100s, and then 6% 150s. Um, that's really a, a odd. Uh, if I switch over here to orb drop percent, I can show you that one of the past events, it was actually 51% uh, from a crowd source of 2,600 data points, uh, gave me about a 51% drop rate on the 50s, 40% on the 100s, uh, almost 6% on the 150s, and then you know under 1% or so for the 375s, 1000s, and 2000s, because those are the big drops. Um, so, so far, not doing too great, but it is a small sample size, um, so I can't, I can't, you know, say one way or another on these. But, let's say I did get one of these, you know, 2,000 drops and say, like, uh, two of the 375s, right? Maybe that changes it significantly, my orb drop numbers go way up, uh, but you'll see as you fill this out and track it for yourself, uh, you'll see how the numbers adjust, uh, the drop rates update themselves, the average uh, shard drops update here, and the number right here will update based on this number. So it's up to you. If you want to track it here, you can use these scripts. You can hit a button here and watch. This will change to 7. This one will change to 1, right? Um, all you, you got to do is hit the button while you're doing your blitz, and it'll track your counts here. And I think that's pretty helpful for figuring it out. Uh, it's faster than just having to write the data in there, uh, which is kind of a pain. So uh, this is something we used in the past. Uh, I also made a uh, consolidation sheet for this in the past to get uh, a large amount of data from other people. I don't think I'm going to do that this time. I don't think it's really worth it. Um, I'm just going to track mine as I can. It's not going to be every single rotation, but as I can. Um, we'll do it. So, uh, last couple things that you want to look at is uh, expected event progress for your blitz wins. So, let's say there's 12 days of blitzing, uh, and let's assume that you actually get the orb frags from the uh, orb blitzes for Sundays, um, which they have in the past events most recently. Um, so, that'll give you, you know, orbs almost four a day at 125 wins a day with 63 shards per drop on average. Um, so days of blitzing times the orbs will give you about 47 from blitzing. Uh, blitz milestone should give us around seven orbs, and then uh, and that's yeah. So we get uh, yeah. So it's 3,700 shards per blitz. There should be four blitzes. I don't know if we're gonna get more um, blitz milestones uh, to drop orb fragments for the event in the Sunday Orb Blitzes. I don't think we've had that in the past, so I left that out. But I'm assuming it's going to be around seven orbs um, from the Blitz Milestones. And then the event is going to give us almost 13. Uh, like I said, they tweaked the numbers so they aren't whole anymore, but that's fine. Um, so right now with this setup, I am projected to hit about 67 orbs total, right? Um, that's pretty strong. Uh, that's going to get me over the 63 mark, which is what I need in order to finish all the orb opening milestones. Uh, but I also could supplement by buying offers or buying individual orbs with cores. We've seen this in the past where they're 400 cores a piece. Um, you know, or maybe there's a compensation that goes out because they screw something up. That's happened in the past plenty of times. So uh, we'll see how that impacts everything. But as you're going through this, just fill it out uh, as best you can. And uh, we'll see. Let's flip over to the game real quick here. And uh, I'm going to open a couple of these deep freeze orbs real quick. I got a few um, saved up, just a couple so far. I haven't opened any. Uh, but let's see if we get anything decent out of this. So there's five Taskmaster. That's a pretty nice drop. Um, so he's in these orbs, which is good to see because he is a great character. Uh, Thor is not all that great, but whatever. I uh, already got him maxed. And then Carnage. So 
Um, not too bad on the drops there. You get five, 15k to 50 gold uh, drops. You can get orange, purple, and blue gear drops, and then the character shards. Uh, there's some decent ones like Beast. Uh, I, I still need him. Uh, let's see, I need a little bit on Proxima, Task, Stature. Uh, Red Guardian himself is in here somewhere. Uh, he's hiding though. He's not. I didn't get any pulls for him, unfortunately. And uh, you can see here the three percent or the three shard drop is almost the same as common, 50 and 46 percent. And then uh, you have a four percent chance on every orb of getting eight shards of Red Guardian. Hmm. Okay, so let's go to the milestones real quick. And so now that I've gotten 1,800 points for this one, I can go ahead and start claiming these shards for Red Guardian and the other prizes. And then I can flip back over to my spreadsheet here and say, okay, I've done, uh, was, it, was it 1,800? Yeah, 1,800 points, right? So that means I've hit Milestone 7. And uh, that's three orbs. <laughs> and so I've collected all of this loot, which is great. Uh, but that means I've only opened 0.26 orbs today, which is uh, pretty bad. Uh, <laughs> so, um, you know, orbs needed per day is 5.25, so we want to make sure that this number gets up to about that. Uh, but as, as we go through and hit some of these milestones here for the dailies and stuff, it'll get, give us more orb frags, and those numbers will go up over time. Um, but just to keep an eye on it and see if you need to blitz more, this is uh, this is the way to track it. And so just put your current totals in there and it should update automatically. Okay, I think that pretty much covers it. You know, it's just going to come down to a lot of blitzing, a lot of smarts there. And then uh, making sure that, you know, your alliance is doing raids effectively. Uh, I'm pretty sure most people that are looking at this and looking into spreadsheets are in very active alliances and probably doing pretty well. Um, so I'm sure you won't have too much trouble with that. But uh, I did want to make sure that we have a, a clear understanding of what this event is about, uh, what, what's required to finish it, and uh, what the expectations are. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I'll put a link to this spreadsheet in the, in the description of the video. And uh, yeah, that uh, covers it. So if you see anything that I did wrong, please let me know. Uh, otherwise, you know, make a copy for yourself and uh, test it out, try it out, and take it for a whirl. And uh, let me know if you got any feedback, all right? Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.